Hello, my guitar freaks. This is P.B. Wagner from Rage. And this is Marcos Rodriguez from Rage, and you're watching Guitar Mania. Marcus, welcome Hello. to Vienna. Yes. Hello. It's a pleasure you guys cool. having here yes. in, in Vienna. So, looking forward to the show. Uh, how's the tour been going? <sighs> Perfectly so far. Absolutely yes. amazing. We're, we're really happy. Everything works out like we planned it and even better. Uh, the only uh, bad thing is that uh, half of the bus is ill meanwhile and I have a really uh, some throat problems you might hear it but uh, the good thing about this is that we have now three lead singers in the band and we can help each other out yeah. so you won't notice it <laughs> you won't notice <laughs> true excellent although excellent. we're coughing and like no, like coughing <laughs> and uh, <laughs> <laughs> but so hey. it's almost a month that you Markus started mm. playing with uh, with uh, Rage uh, live so yes it's, it's been a month already since I, well actually the yeah. real first gig it was uh, I, I would say my <laughs> birthday yeah. in January this year it, it wasn't a first gig it was just a jam it was a jam yeah. Yeah. it was a jam it was a jam but, but, but actually this day was the birth of our lineup yeah that was the birth well, it, of it wasn't planned day. before not really but and on this day we realized we really sound pretty good together yeah <laughs> that was cool okay. but uh, the experience has been so far I mean just play next to your hero is like what you know, Marcos, how long did it take you like to learn the stuff and then then to get ready for the stage? And well, uh, not too long mm. really, because I've been playing on my own songs from Rage since I was 16 years old. So uh, I'm a huge fan. Since he knew everything already. Uh, You're kidding, really? So <laughs> no, you, no, no. you went to the, the rehearsal the thing, room and you yes, know you the, know the is, stuff. Already? We don't. If do I if I if, if we mention whatever title, it's just coming up. Oh yeah, it's, ah, it's like this. Blah, 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 blah. It, he shows me how to play my shit. You know? <laughs> You're kidding? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. Really? <laughs> you know, sometimes it's like I think it's like that, and it's like no, but I think you. Oh yeah, yeah, it's like that. It's true. It's true. It's it's mm. unbelievable. Yeah, I mean the thing is like um, when I was when I was younger. When I was younger, uh, I used to play a lot of Metallica and Maiden and Rage. Uh, I, I became a Rage freak fan. I collect everything from Rage and stuff, and um, and I, I learned the songs. I mean, like you, uh, you listen to it and you transcribe yeah. them just Sorry. from. Yeah, no worries. <coughs> <coughs> yes, exactly. What you have to know is he's really a talent, and he hears something and he knows directly how it's going to be played. And also with other bands, also he has, he really has a very um, extraordinary hearing, I would say. Yeah, well, very much that's a gift. <laughs> wow, cool. That, that, that's, that's, that's amazing. I mean, he, do he, he does the same with all the Dreams here and stuff. He's playing all the albums from bottom to top the, and the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> like this, like, what the fuck? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, it's, it, it is kind of, I mean, it's, it's like an ear training, you know, with the years. I mean, I've been also, uh, a big school for me was like the last 10 years I've been playing um, uh, in Tenerife every night. I mean, every show two three hours playing every night and uh, I did for 10 years in Tenerife and believe it or not you know playing every day bunch of songs and improvising a lot you know that's developed your ear developed your musical skills and so for 10 years you did that for 10 years six days a week <laughs> you can tell it really fast but it took a long time so what, what, so, sorry what sort of music did you play then well believe it or not uh, I had a band in Tenerife and we play a lot of metal stuff I mean we play from uh, hard rock to classic rock to metal stuff I mean stuff from BB King until Pantera I mean all that in, in, a, in a restaurant for tourists you're kidding <laughs> yeah, no it's true actually there's a bunch of, uh, of videos in YouTube it's called Sound Chaser that's the name of the band Sound Chaser in Tenerife live whatever we play since 2004 until 2013 or so hmm. 2000 no 2001 2013 or so excellent PB I understand you guys have just released the, a new CD box that's called the refugee years can you yeah. introduce us to that please yeah. uh, ich habe da mal was vorbereitet that's how it looks like <coughs> actually this is um, all the material that was ever uh, recorded by this classic Rage lineup mm -hmm. of um, uh, me, Chris F. Dimiades and Manny Schmidt uh, from 1988 till 1993 or 94. 1993. So everything, and it's not only the, the five official albums we did it back in this time, it also has f um, five extra CDs plus one DVD uh, with uh, all kinds of 
unreleased stuff so far, so far unreleased stuff like demos that um, live material and uh, there's also one a new recorded live CD for, uh, with uh, that we played last year you know uh, maybe you heard about that I work again with those two guys besides of rage under the name of refuge um, this was the title of one of the uh, well-known songs from this era mm -hmm. and uh, we decided to bring everything out concerns the, concerning this lineup in one box you know it's a and really you did the mastering nice of, of yeah of, of, I work on, I work on it you know I also have the studio my own studio and um, MPV told me like well let's keep it in the family uh, and so instead of going to somewhere else mm -hmm. to remaster or whatever or remix or whatever we keep it in the in the family and I did uh, not just the remaster of the entire box, but uh, we are remastering pretty much every, every of the whole catalog of, of, yes. of the thing is, This year, we uh, luckily managed to get back the rights of all the old uh, rich back catalog material, and uh, so all the old albums that were not available since long years uh, will be coming out in the future now, in the nearer future. So, uh, piece by piece or so it's not all not all at the same time this would be really really too much but the band has out 23 Three. albums like we, uh, we just recorded yeah. the 23rd the 23rd yeah <laughs> so um uh, what i got back the rights of i don't know 20 of them 20 or, of them uh, yeah really around this so this was the first release now the, this box with uh, the whole thing from from this lineup and um also black in mind they're on black in mind which is uh, um has its 20 years anniversary now this year and we're touring with this material right now so we uh, pre-wound this and uh, also put it out already it's all already available and all the rest will come out sooner or later from next year on and with uh, all of course in a luxury edition this uh, bonus CD with uh, leftover material demos whatever stuff yeah. new mixes so it's gonna be interesting for the collectors for the fans of the band Especially as most of the material hasn't been available for ages. Yeah, and you guys have also started, like you just mentioned, it recording uh, the, the the songs for the new album. Yeah, I understand. That's right. So that's can right. you tell us a bit about sure. how far that has uh, advanced? Done, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, um, should I speak? Yeah, look, okay. Okay. Speak a little bit. <laughs> okay, the album is already recorded. You know, we it's done. It's really? Done. Oh, okay. The album wow. is done, and uh, now we are in the mixing process. You know, we have an excellent mixer, uh, excellent engineer, which is Dan Zvana from the band Nightingale and Age of Sanity. Really well known in the scene, uh, especially in the death metal scene. The Godfather uh, of Swedish. It's hmm. the Godfather of <laughs> Swedish death metal, bloodbath and stuff. <coughs> he is he is another of my heroes. So to work with Dan was extremely it is extremely nice extremely cool and um yeah we the album is is already done uh it will be released uh, at some point early next year um we haven't decided still the title of the album yet is, is there in the game it's in the table we are still talking with the label and stuff like that but the album is pretty 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 awesome i mean now i'm gonna talk uh, as, as a rage fan as a rage fan i can tell you what it's, it's he, really he, he brought me back to be a fan. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really like this album. It's one of the best shit that we have ever done. Oh yeah, I mean, honestly, it is. It is. It has the the spirit of this uh, raw, thrashy, missing part of rage for the last. And, years. and how did you guys go about writing for the new song? Oh, how that did, was that really work? easy. <laughs> this was, it was a really natural. Very funny part. Yes. That's the funny part. Go on. Go on tell yeah, me. Yeah. Um, of course, we uh, each of us had already a couple of loose ideas before, mm -hmm. and then we just uh, um, when, we, when we met one of the first times in your studio, yeah. he has a little studio in Belgium, mm -hmm. and uh, basically we, we met for we just wanted to talk a little bit about the future. It was pretty loose, and mm -hmm. he came up like, uh, I have prepared something here, you know, maybe you want to hear it or so, you know, and uh, I remember. Uh, the meeting before, uh, two weeks before, mm -hmm. we met at Lucky's house, as a drummer's house, and I played some shit on acoustic guitar, you know, and he recorded it with his mobile phone. I just didn't re really realize, he just recorded it. And I played the stuff and sang a little bit as, to this, you know. <laughs> and then <laughs> the two week weeks after. later we met, we met in his house. 
I prepared <coughs> something. Maybe you would like to listen to it. <laughs> I heard it. It was my song. It was perfectly done, you know. It was the so, song with arrangements so he, and everything. He, no, ta, 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 ta. he just had it from the mobile phone and he, he really did a fantastic version from this already. It yeah. was exactly like I had like, it in my head. Exactly. Yeah, like you had anticipated. Yes, and yeah, then like, yeah. I, like I exp wanted the song to be, you know. Exactly. Perfectly. So we just did right away that we did the, the second one. You know? Yeah, <laughs> right the same away. night. The, the same, same night we started yeah. to do the second one. Yeah. It was really like with throwing balls to each other. I just sat down five minutes, wrote the lyrics. It was just there, you know. It was, it was like, magic. Okay. It was just magic. Like it was standing somewhere in the air and just had to write it down, okay? <laughs> like this. And it went on like this. Next time we met, we did like seven songs in a row. <laughs> so unbelievable. Was, seven was, songs yeah, in a it row. It was like yeah. making sandwiches, you know. Like, it's like unbelievable. Done, and next one. Really fantastic, like you know. They are really rough. They have this. But they, you, yes. you guys recorded that then in, in your studio in Belgium? Or part of it. We did part of production. Pre-production. Pre Pre-production Pre okay. and, and part of the production later also, also in the studio. But it was really nice because, um, like I said, I've been a student in Rage. Uh, actually, the name of the band is Sound Chaser. So I really do love Rage. And I know how PV writes. And it's really on typical heavy metal bands. You know, it's not like the same E. C, D, E, C, D, and we are metal and that's it. It's completely different. It's everything is minor and dark and, and super deep. And, uh, and, and I know this. So uh, knowing how PV writes songs and have these ideas and, and it, it, sometimes we get confused. It's like, is this riff yours or mine? Uh, oh, yes. oh, I think it's yours. No, 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 no. I think it's yours. No, no, no. I, oh, I still think it's mine. And but then we say, ah, oh, no, this is mine. This is yours. This is actually the entire album is Wagner Rodriguez. It's yeah, we, everything we did it together. We, we just realized it, we cannot sort it out anymore. Which was from who? So, so we just said, okay, we're gonna do it like Lennon McCartney. Everything Wagner Rodriguez. Exactly. Cool. <laughs> Excellent. I think that's great. I mean, if you got the positive energy going, yeah, that's yeah. so important. And we decided for everything we do in the future, it's gonna be Wagner Rodriguez. Sure. Whoever did what, you know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> How many of the new songs we'll be hearing live tonight? Of the new song? No, no, no. Nothing. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 come on. It's copyright, copyright control, copyright control right now. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let us turn a bit to the to the equipment that you guys use. Uh, yeah. PB, I understand you have got a new angle uh, bass stack, right. yes, bass. I'm, I'm playing the, bass. the new angle bass stack mm -hmm. uh, among <coughs> three or four other guys so far. Mm -hmm. that I know. Um, it's it's not very uh, common so far. Not, not most of the, for example, the all these rental equipment companies that don't have it so far. But but um, um, tonight we're here with our own stuff. So mm -hmm. Play tonight here with my own material. It's really a nice thing. It's a um, um, you have two channels. You have one one channel with a transistor, which I don't use, uh, and I am using the the tube, the tube channel. Oh. The tube pure. You can bridge this them. This is uh, wow. the first amp that is not from Ampeg that uh, reaches a kind of sound quality like the Ampegs. You know, mm -hmm. um, <coughs> this was all the years my favorite amp. And this one was the first one that convinced me to change. And you used that on the record as well? Yes, I used okay. it on the record as yeah. well. Yeah. Mm. What about you, Marco? Oh, I'm also um, happily in Engel family, in the Engel family. Uh, well, Engel is a brand that I've been love since I know them. And uh, it's really heavy stuff. And I'm using uh, the Powerball 2, which is for rage and for metal. So for what we do, it is perfect. And I have it. Um, I have that that head as a master, and then as a slave. I'm using like an effect return. I use an iron ball, which is another gray head, and I use two, two, two. Let me see, for twelve. Yeah, I use two of them in a stereo. All this controlled by the fantastic Line Six Helix, the new Helix, which is out, and uh, I control the the amps. I use just the amp sound. I use the Helix just to foot switch them mm -hmm. and uh, and effects and delays and stuff like that. And uh, and it's fantastic. I mean, and this is also what you use. This is in the, uh, like in the an studio? amp in the amp in the studio. I use yeah. absolutely just angled pure tone. Right. I, I actually all the effects and all that comes later on the Pro Tools and stuff. But uh, just the pure angle sound is is what I use. Uh, nothing else. Not even just the noise gate. Even the noise gate from the from the amp. And then um, I'm using as guitars. I'm using ESP guitars. I'm uh, mm -hmm. happily also endorsed by ESP and uh, they have absolutely killer new standard uh, material which is the line E2 uh, which used to be the ESP standard and now they call it E2. We saw them in Frankfurt at the music fair. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. and they're absolutely fantastic. I'm using three of them of them. I'm using the arrow which is like shaped like a V shape. Uh, I'm using the Horizon 3. It's all made in Japan. The Horizon 3 which is I call snarky 
uh, the snarky guitar because the snarky <laughs> pop is a band that I love and um, and I used uh, kind of the clips the clips you know the clips uh, kind of less pole shape and uh, the three of them are really killer sound and uh, I'm in love of my equipment right now in love uh, and it's really good we also both of us uh, we use uh, strings from uh, here from Vienna the Thomas Inkfeld mm -hmm. uh, Thomas Dick which is Thomas Dick Infeld. Yes, I get the yeah. pronunciation right. Yeah, <laughs> Thomas Dick. Thomas Dick Infeld. No, but they're great because they also like have Chaya's artist and George Benson, I think. Is and George Benson, so yeah. those, those this, are strings. These, are these strings are totally different from anything else you can get it's on true. the market. Yeah. Okay. This is really it's cool. Really it's cool, it's cool, not so. only a saying or so. This is really. We'll, we'll just check it out. You will not. Wouldn't no regrets. <clears throat> I mean, I mean. When you're trying them, you're not turning back. I can. I mean, I play with other strings, and after a gig, it's like what. No, I want to get the Tom Cruise three or gigs, you know, in a row like new. It's like, no, like this is unbelievable, and the sound, the mid sounds are delicious. Uh, Marcos, I, I actually, actually, like we we we're, 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 we're a blog and YouTube channel for musicians, uh, and knowing that you're such a gifted sort of, and you're so good at uh, uh, transcribing music and stuff. Do you have any any tips for uh, for young musicians how they could go, or how did you approach like transcribing music? Did you have like a tape recorder and you slowed down the, no. the music, or how, is there any any recommendation that you have how to transcribe music and learn well, music? Well, transcribe music. E everything I, I've done, I do. I, I, I did by ear. I mean, I, everything I done is by ear. But um, the way to, for instance, um, I don't know how I do it. I just listen to the song and think, okay, this is pretty much how it goes. And then I start to to sit down and listen a lot and spend a lot of time listening to music. And if I want to slow it down, normally you use Pro Tools or stuff like that, or sorry, any any program. You know, there's thousands of programs. That you do that. <coughs> sorry, but when you started, <coughs> sorry. when it started, when you. There wasn't Pro Tools pro no, no, no. When available. No, no, I mean, no. How did you? Start? When I started, I I used to get photocopies of these books, you know, from uh, let's say Metallica and Justice for All, and it was a transcription. And oh, I have to get it. I, I'm not gonna play. I'm gonna play in Justice for All, man. That's pretty cool. But then uh, most of the stuff is was by ear. I mean, ear. There was no YouTube. There was n just the videotapes from Paul Gilbert and Frank Gambale. You know, it's like that's all I had, and uh, and and I learn to play house scales and and you know and practice and practice and practice and practice that actually my first songs that i played in guitar was nothing else matters from metallica <laughs> you know because you know why because i i, I didn't know to use this hand so i just just dun, 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 just like this and my mom gets sick of it. it's like okay i have to give you something <laughs> else because i'm sick of listening to the same fucking song all the time so um uh, and after that i start to listen to metallica and maiden and blah 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 and just Listen to the tape, just a little bit. Stop. And listening and listening and listening. Mm. Excellent. No YouTube, nothing. Back then. Yeah, back then the tapes <coughs> were a bit different. Yeah, uh, were different. Uh, yeah. You have to be a man and show the power of the guitar without uh, as like this. Yeah. <laughs> Pee -wee, one last message for for your fans. Uh, <coughs> I can, I can truly say, uh, whoever was bored of the uh, releases in the last years of Rage uh, or of the endless uh, Widdly Widdly Dream Theater wannabe live shows, uh, the band is back with what we were in the 90s. So <clears throat> just check it out and you will like it again. <laughs> yes. Insane. Excellent. Thank you so much, guys. Marcos, Cheers. all Thank the you, best. Man. Thank you. All the best, Pee Thank Thanks. And yeah, looking forward to the show. Yay! We're enjoying our time already. So, yeah. This is cool. Whatever happens, we're going to have a good time anyway. Okay. <laughs>